Hello everyone, Ratna with you again. Coming back with the topic on Unified Glad Rating UGR. We recently encountered lots of questions on verifying the UGR rating in our design process. The vitality of the term is taken over by means of concentrating how to reduce it through the design process. There are questions like how I can reduce UGR in my design? If you truly ask me this question, this is totally inappropriate, which I can rephrase this to. What design criteria is important in order to maintain the lesser UGR? I can uh, explain the difference between these two. The first question, the software will allow us to achieve the intended UGR just by manipulating the variables. But the second question, it makes to decide the constants which is vital component to achieve better UGR. This is again the question of you want to become a data manipulator or a trip planner. Better UGR means better visual comfort. Let's get into more details. The common terms nowadays in order to access the glare rating uh, is being used uh, uh, UGR for interior lighting and GR for exterior. Let's not get into the order for now because it's again a huge topic. We can take it in the next session. To explain the concept, we need to go one step behind the theory on the term discomfort glare. Uh, the name itself it implies that the cause of discomfort due to interior lighting by the factors like luminance of the source, size of the luminous area, its aperture, it explains about the aperture and the position of the source in the field of view. The primary relationship between these factors develops a number of empirical systems in different countries like for example visual comfort probability in North America, evaluates lighting system in terms of a group of observer population and their acceptance level of uh, comfort level in the provided environment. But CIA produces the consensus system of evaluation called UGR, which takes almost the same parameter as other type of evaluation. The term, this particular term is being highly used in our everyday evaluation for glare in our design process. Let's go back to the point that impact UGR. I would like to take example and explain the parameters in the formula. Do not worry, I'm not asking you to memorize the form formula, that's completely not necessary. There are the term parameters which are directly proportional and inversely proportional. If you are good in math, it's probably very well known to you. The parameters L be called the background luminance in the field of view and L stands for luminance of the luminar, which is a brightness in the direction of observer and P stands for position index, index of the luminar and the solid angle in steroidal angle. If you see the inversely proportional LB value, the background uh, brightness is lesser than the usual value get increase. Many planners used to give importance to uh, parameters like position index and luminance like if you have a higher UGR, they will in initially try to change the luminar to lesser beam, beam angle or the position of the luminar they will change. Uh, but apart from that, there are some other aspects which are very much important and vital information which has to be taken care in order to reduce the UGR. Let's take some sample scenario. I have prepared this plan with a 3 by 3 grid of uh, down light with aperture of 100 mm diam. The product uh, which I used here is this one. If you see the diameter 130 mm diam. And this is wide beam angle. I edited this the same product. I changed this diameter to increase the diameter to 200 mm to show the variation of how the luminous area brightness will impact the UGR value. The first one is the normal 130 mm and the second one is uh, 200 mm. Let's get into the model and the first sample shows let me check the um, luminar the the luminar what i used here it's a small aperture 130 mm diam let's run the calculation i kept the field of ugr at a certain height at work plane height in many cases it differs according to the work plane the task area it may be a disk on top of the desk 
or the observer viewpoint and generally in for the interior we used to give for the complete work plane in the better case to avoid um, any variation in the for for example if we have multiple lighting scene uh, let's check the value is 15.6 15.6 for smaller aperture and now I'm uh, changing the luminar to 200 mm replace all of this type I already added to the project click on that and apply the aperture is increased and the calculation initially we had 15.6 and now once I change the increase the aperture it is 10.8 the difference why the same uh, luminous flux the same lumen package for the down light i just increase the aperture the luminous area respect to the in intensity it's higher for the ratio of the luminous area and the intensity is higher for the smaller aperture whereas it is very less compared the ratio is deviation is very high for higher aperture okay again the second parameter what is the background brightness the background brightness goes a major component in maintaining the UGR we never see this mostly but this is very much important let me check the wall texture the wall texture is standard of course and it is 50 percentage now I am going to reduce it. My background brightness is reducing, which is inversely proportional to the value. I am reducing it to 25% or 20 could be. Don't drag and drop, just apply. So other walls are in the same uh, percentage, standard percentage of reflectance with higher aperture which we got the lower value of EGR compared to the smaller one which was 10.8 you can see that when I reduce the brightness of background wall in the field of view the EGR get increased it's always have impact on the surrounding fact surrounding ratio to summarize the three scenarios we evaluated, the first one with the smaller aperture down lights which gives 15.6 UGR which has been reduced to 10.8 when we increase the diameter of the down light to 200 mm. With all other design parameters are typical like lumen package and wall reflectance everything. The same scenario elaborates the background luminance impact in the UGR level to increase due to the relative brightness the, uh, the ratio between the brightness of uh, the space and the wall reflectance so it it's totally the UGR level uh, increased from 10.8 to 11.8 I hope you all get to the root of the concept that not only the selection of luminar is responsible for the results I emphasize once again, the content of this video explained to the minimal level of the terminologies referred from ISNA and SIPSA. I would suggest to give a reading to get an ample knowledge on subject to have the better understanding of the core concept. Thank you very much.